Okay, so far we've laid out everything. Um, where we at least got the corners. We just got rough estimates. We still got to draw some string lines up, but we took some uh, widths, some links, and we took the diagonals. Uh, we figured out the diagonals using the Pythagorean theorem. And uh, yeah, so, so far so good. Like I said, we're cutting it real close with this lean-to. So we're trying to figure that out. I want to get exactly where that's going to sit, and then I'm going to play with my tractor a little bit, see if I, that's even doable for me. And uh, we might even shove the entire shop that way about a foot just to give us as much room over here as possible but uh, yeah so we might end up having to redo it because I might move the whole thing a foot but. Yeah, let's do it Okay, right here I am actually placing some batter boards. I'm using some oak stakes and I'm driving them into the ground and then I have a pine board that I'm using as my batter boards. And once those are up, we're gonna run strings across those and get our square measurements. Now I have just a rough estimate of where the corners of the barn is gonna be and that's how I know where to place my batter boards. This is a Johnson Transit laser level that I bought off of Amazon. We can uh, put the link in the description as well as our Amazon influencer page. And you can go to our page store page and you can actually purchase this. But uh, this is an awesome level. We leveled out these boards so we can uh, stretch our string lines across to have a good level string. And then once we do that, we'll have a perfectly square building that we can use the string to, uh, to lay it out off of. As you get closer, you can hear it start beeping. And it's, it's kind of nice. And there, it's got perfectly level board there. We'll come over here. It's not crucial to have these perfectly level, but I got this laser level and I love using it. So we're going to do it. We're going to make this as level as possible. Just having it out here, uh, I actually realized we got a little bit of a hump in our building here. So I'm going to take that out with the tractor here in just a few minutes. But uh, each one of these are, are level. So we'll take a string line and stretch it across. And... Uh, yeah, the string is going to be attached here. So we'll have a string coming across over top of this nail head here and a string coming this way over top of a nail head here. And they'll, they'll intersect right where the perfect square is. Oh. And we're going to we're going to pad off an inch of each post um, just so we're not hitting the strings and everything when we're putting our posts in. But um, this is the process of laying out a building. Um, it's really not rocket science. It just takes time. Uh, make sure you do it right. Um, a square foundation is probably one of the most important parts about building. So you want to make sure it's perfectly square. So that's what we're trying to do here. We're just taking our time. It's a beautiful day out here. So uh, here in a little bit, we're going to head up to uh, the store and pick up uh, some concrete. So when we drill our holes, put some concrete down on the bottom of them. We finally got it all loaded up in the truck and the trailer. It took us about two hours. We are over here finishing unloading everything that we got from Menards for the past two days. It has been insane getting all the supplies here. We had to go back and forth to Menards twice with a full trailer and a full truckload of supplies. It was insane. We got tons of concrete, lumber. I mean, you name it. It's all over here. And I'll go ahead and insert a few pictures from yesterday of us getting all this stuff.
jump. Go, me. Go, Levi. Let's see it. Nice. We have a rough estimate of where the corner of the barns are going to be, and that's where we placed our batter boards. We usually stick a nail in the ground right where that corner is supposed to be. Um, just a rough guess. Now we're going to run string lines, and where they intersect on the batter boards is where, theoretically, the corner should be. Now those corners aren't going to be correct until you get two diagonal measurements, one on either side. Once those diagonal measurements are the exact same, you know that you have a perfectly square building. Update here. So this is what we are doing at all four corners. This here is it. You attach your strings and where they intersect should perfectly be the corner of the barn. And that's it, it's that simple, but it works. So now we're just measuring the corners to make sure that it is the exact same measurement from this corner to this corner and from this corner to this corner. And if it is, it's done. Okay, now we are taking the diagonal measurements. So if you use the Pythagorean theorem, a 40 by 60 building, uh, so it's 40 squared plus 60 squared equals C squared, which is what that diagonal measurement is going to be. And whatever that measurement is, is what your corner to corner measurements should be. And if you get it on both sides and it's the same, it's perfectly square. Okay, we're so close, we just gotta make the final adjustments. R&R uh, &R builders, they have a really good explanation on how to square a building and it's relatively easy. Everything's looking good except for the back corner. I'm off by about 3 16 of an inch, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm trying to get everything perfect because once your base is perfect, everything else is a little bit easier. So we're still working on it. Okay, almost done. And I will put a link of that R&R &R buildings video in the description so you guys can watch it like we did. It was very helpful. It's square. We did it. It took how long, babe? About an hour. <sighs> but I worked by myself for half of it. True. I was feeding the kids. But anyway, it is done. It is square. And it's beautiful. Just picture this. A giant, beautiful pole barn right here. Massive. 40 by 60. With the nice lean-to going out this way. I'm proud of James. He did it. I went through and marked 10 foot on center on each side. Now we're going to mark the fronts and the back. So we got garage doors and stuff, so they're gonna be different. Okay. And we may go ahead and drive posts, little wooden posts, it's supposed to rain this week, and I don't want my paint to wash away. <laughs> and this is kind of funny, the only spray paint we could find at our house is camouflage. So as you can imagine, it is camouflage and doesn't show up too well. But anyway, there's our corner post here, and then you can see them as we come down this wall. There's another one there. There's another one. Here's another one. So he just got them marked out. So we got this side done and this side done. Now we'll do the front and back. And to finish it off tonight, as you can see, James put all these stakes in the ground to mark where we're gonna put the posts. There are a lot of them around the whole thing, but it's getting cold and it's getting late. So we are done for the night. <laughs>